Good, good Friday day. You catch that? I am Pastor Luke, the youth pastor, and I am bringing you some announcements and some encouragement today. Uh, so, first, for the announcements. Um, for Good Friday today, uh, the service is at 7 p.m. and we'll be streaming live. Uh, but we ask you to do one thing. Bring some black yarn or string, uh, a dark color of some kind, if you have it. Uh, so have that ready, because uh, we're going to have a, a picture that we're all going to uh, use it for. Uh, and then for Sunday, the Sunday services, the 8 o'clock is going to be considered our sunrise service. And so we're going to have video testimonies uh, of individuals that are sharing at that time. And then for the 1030 service, um, it's going to be uh, our regular service, but we ask, ask you to have your kids, uh, if you have them, uh, have some crayons and paper, uh, and you're going to have an opportunity to have them interact with what's going on during the service. Uh, so, you know what? Adults, feel free to do that too. Why not? We can still color. Uh, but uh, it's going to be cool and interactive and uh, prepare to take some pictures, pictures of it in some form or another. Okay, for, uh, for devotion today, and I want to encourage you uh, with something. Uh, in John eleven twenty five, 25, uh, Jesus has come to see his friend uh, Lazarus come back to life. Uh, he has died and... It's just a, a tough time, and Jesus even weeps at that time. Even though he knew he was going to be bringing him back from the dead, Jesus still weeps. But this is what he tells them. When confronted with this uh, idea, this difficult problem of what are we going to do now that Lazarus is dead? What are we going to do with this? And Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Have you ever thought of how powerful that is? And not just that, but when Jesus died, three days later, he came back to life. Have you ever thought of how much power is in that? that that's crazy. I mean, this is not like someone is coding and you go up and you do all you can to, to help save them. Or this is not someone who flatlined for a, a certain amount of time in surgery and now they're back. This is someone that died and on his own power came back to life. It's like death is there and Jesus is standing there and he's like, nah, nope. Um, I'm in charge of you, death. So I'm coming back to life. Like he stood out there. He's like, nah, this ain't happening. I'm not staying dead. Like just to have that power that's insane. And that's the God that we serve. That is Jesus who we serve. Uh, so I hope that encourages you. Think about that. Read the passage in John 11 about Lazarus uh, and read again the passages uh, at the end of the Gospels about how Jesus came back to life. And just think about that power that we don't even come close to having. Uh, and, and then think about how that changes who we are as believers in Christ. We love you. We're praying for you.